Hello everyone. Blessings to all. The topic today is called what voices are you hearing? What are you who are you listening to? Here in your mind. Because it's not it's not about the outside, but what voices am I listening to? And we have many voices. It's not only our intuition voice, for example, or, or our higher self voice that is speaking. We have maybe those voices of fear or doubt or I don't know, should I do it? Should I trust. I don't know if I should trust in this. Mm, maybe I'm not good enough. Mm, I don't know. I feel shame of doing that. Mm, all of these things that start speaking to you when you confront the situation, they are all telling you something. And I'm going to be talking to you today about the wounds, the five main ones of the soul and how it is that we self-sabotage our life when we don't recognize that our way to survive these sort of wounds is to put in front of us a mask, a mask that can protect us from being hurt again. So this is the mask and behind that mask, guess who it is there? Your inner child that somehow feels hurt and is trying to avoid feeling hurt. So instead of being your adult here, your conscious adult, the mask comes out, right? And the child is behind. So we are like layers of all of our uh, inner voices and our inner guys that are talking to us. And I want to maybe give you some observations for you to start recognizing which ones of those are talking to you. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the wound of rejection. And I don't know if maybe let's say that you are in with a group of people and maybe if someone brings a comment and everybody's just giving an opinion on it and they are about to come to you and you start like oh my god oh my god it's gonna be my turn oh my i gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> and they just stand up and you leave and you don't come back until everybody's like maybe gone or they went into another subject or Something happened, but you don't want to be on the spot. So maybe you have an opinion on it, but you don't want to give it because you are afraid of others um, um, rejecting you because of your opinion, maybe. Not accepting your opinion. Oh, that's ridiculous. Or you don't know. Your opinion is not good enough. Let's, let's say it this way. So that's what the actual... Um, inner voice is telling you you're not good enough to, to give you your opinion is not good enough it's not worth it so just don't even say it. don't 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 even try it just go and hide because that way that that way you don't have to even say it and maybe maybe you're born to be a speaker and to talk about things and you feel like you cannot because you're afraid of expressing things and feeling rejected. So you self-sabotage yourself by hiding. I, I become the invisible one. And I say that because that was me. <laughs> and, and it took me a while to transcend that, that one. And so that's one of the ones. Now let's talk about the abandonment. The abandonment do this. Let's say that that the abandonment usually, uh, the fear is not to be, not to have attention, not, not to feel loved. And the, this one, because all of these ones, we, we 
experience when we were children before five. So they are very deep in our unconscious mind. And we had the perception, it was a perception that mom and dad didn't love me enough, didn't, enough, didn't give me enough attention, didn't validate me enough, didn't recognize me. So we're gonna talk a, a little bit about each of those. So the abandonment, maybe this kid needed a lot of attention and maybe mom and dad didn't have, I mean, had to work a lot or weren't too present. So maybe this girl or this boy felt abandoned. And so maybe this kid, this kid found that every time he or she gets sick, mom and dad are there for, the, for her or for him. And so I learned that when I become the victim, I get sick or I get incidents or something happens, my parents are paying attention to me and I feel loved. So maybe as an adult, right? I, I create myself unconsciously, of course, incidents all the time to have others' attention on me. And when I do, then I feel loved. And if I don't, then I feel like I'm alone. Like, oh, no one loves me. So I become the victim. And people say, no, I, it, it was an accident. I didn't, I didn't mean it to happen. Do you don't understand? Yes, we attracted that accident somehow because we want to feel that we need attention or love. And so some people, sometimes it's just they say, no, that's not how it happens. But somehow we attract these experiences because we need to see something there. And everything that happens to us is speaking. So it's not that, that we want to go through that, but someone needs that attention. Who could that be? The adult in you? Mm -mm. Maybe that inner child within you is the one creating all of this. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that um, farther down the, uh, this information. Let's talk about the, the wound of betrayal. Betrayal, you hear maybe this voice that says, hmm, I don't know. I don't feel like I can trust in that person. Hmm. Um, I need to control it, control it all so everything is going to be perfect. I need to be on everything. So what happens here is that behind that controller, there is a little inner child who feels insecure because someone can betray me. And before that, oh, please, you come up and be big because you're big and then you can protect me. You can protect me so you can be out there being the controller so no one would betray you. See, that's what the, the, the one of betrayal does. And this inner child hasn't been attended yet. So let's say, let's talk about the fourth one, which is the humiliation. And the humiliation has an inner child here that feels a lot of guilt and shame and feels like mm, I'm not worth it enough, like I'm not, like I don't do things right, like anything I do is just wrong. And then I can cause shame or I feel guilty because I cannot do, I cannot be good enough. And behind, this is the inner child that feels this, right? But needs someone to protect that. So it created a mask is, that is called the masochism. And the masochism, and so the kid, the inner child tells the masochism, hey, you, you seem big, so you tell the other ones that I'm gonna be, just be the, the good one, the good girl or the good boy, and take any responsibility so no one would uh, criticize you. Because they have this fear of being criticized. And that creates that shame, that guilt, that pain is painful. 
So before someone comes to even ask you, you say, oh, don't worry, I will do it for you. And everybody thinks, oh, what a beautiful and um, polite person and how and she takes all of these responsibilities, wow. But this adult, this seemly adult, because it's not an adult, it's a mask, really don't want to do all of that. I want to say, no, I don't want to do all of that. But okay, I'm going to do it. Don't worry, I'll take it for you. So that way, no one is going to criticize me. <laughs> That's a lot. Has it happened to you? That you haven't been able to say, I'm sorry, I cannot do that. No, not even I'm sorry. See, the I'm sorry is actually a term that they would use. Oh, I'm sorry, it's me. It was my fault. So maybe they haven't learned how to say, no, I cannot do it. I have, I need some time for myself and I'm, I got things to do. And don't feel bad about it. Because then if they say that, they might feel like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I feel so bad because I say no. <laughs> Has it happened to you? Okay, then maybe you have something to review there. And the last one is the wound of injustice. And the wound of injustice, this inner child is here and feels not recognized, like not worth it. No, not in the same way as the humiliation, but not recognized, not validated. Because this inner child felt that um, his or her parents um, were too harsh on him, criticized him in a bad way, like really um, hurtful way. And so this kid became so, so the only way for me not to feel so hurt is that I'm going to block my emotions. So I become rigid. And then here is the mask of the rigid that seems emotionless. The responsible, perfectionist, does everything like that so perfect. Behind that perfectionist could be someone that feels very hurt, that hasn't been able to show their feelings because it's afraid of being hurt again and no validated. Someone that can say, wow, she did a good job. Maybe that mom or dad didn't ever say that. And this kid is just trying for mom and dad to say that. No mom and dad, but maybe others, because once you grow, you at least expect that from others, which is from mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, in the psychology, you're always expecting to hear that from your parents. So saying all of this, what we need to heal is um, our inner child that had that perception. And each of those masks, there is a lack behind it. And for example, the rejection has the lack of uh, self-acceptance. So maybe I need to accept myself as I am, my, the way, my thoughts, the way I think, the way I do, and be able to express myself in front of others and feel comfortable. If someone maybe say, oh, I, I'm not, I don't agree with you, and I can say, but I agree with myself, and I feel comfortable with that. So that's a way of transcending that one. Uh, loving, um, accepting yourself, accepting that you have an opinion that counts, that the ways you do count, all of, it's just like, I, I, I also count. I have a, um, my opinion count. Um, I, am, I accept myself the way I am and I feel comfortable with that. The second one, the abandonment, uh, has a lack of attention. And it feels like I need, I need someone. It's hard for them to be by themselves. So they need people around all the time. So maybe this is a lack of loving myself, feeling comfortable with myself. I, I have this thing that people call me, oh, are you alone? And I'm like, no, 
I'm with my best company, which is myself. <laughs> and so it is learning how to love being with yourself and giving yourself the attention that you need. Because this person also tends to be giving to others because if I give to others, maybe they would give me back. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna give to myself. Maybe if I need some attention, which is my inner child, I will take care of this inner child and maybe I can go and do something fun, go by myself even to the movies or to eat or, or to get a massage. But I need to give, I learn how to be maybe by myself and feeling loved. So that's, that's what the wound of abandonment is maybe lacking of. And the wound of betrayal uh, needs to, there is a lack of um, self-confidence. Maybe mom and dad also had that wound because usually we are living or we experience these wounds because mom and dad had them all, had, had them also, and they didn't get to transcend that because maybe it's ancestral, but I'm not going to go back there because that's a, another um, talk. <laughs> I'm just going to talk from the present life that you have, not from the past, but it is connected to the past. It is connected because what they couldn't resolve down here, the front line, we are living the same. Repetitive patterns. So maybe what you need to do is to learn how to trust. And once you learn how to trust in yourself, maybe others will also be responding to you in a way that you feel um, that is, is good to trust in the other ones as well. So it is about learning to trust in yourself. That other ones don't, the other ones don't betray me because, because they weren't in time, because they didn't do it the way I wanted, because, because if I do trust myself, maybe the other ones start aligning with that and doing things maybe the way I as a leader want to do them because they have a lot of um, um, positive features to be good leaders. Okay, the wound of humiliation needs to work a lot <laughs> on expressing their needs and desires and not feeling uh, bad about it or guilty about it. Like if someone comes to ask me, can you do me a favor? And you can say, no, I just can't do it because I'm doing something for myself. And feeling comfortable about it. Because if you feel, oh my God, I feel so bad because I didn't help this person. I'm, I'm not a good uh, daughter of God because I didn't help this poor woman or this poor man or this person that needed me. You feel like they need, need you because they come to you, but they don't. You are attracting people to put all of those responsibilities on you because um because that's the way you feel like no one is going to criticize you let's put it this way or to hurt you or feel guilty or feel shame and so you take all of these responsibilities because of that but it's learning to set like boundaries and to learn how to say no honestly instead of saying yes and then inside of just like oh what did I say? Yes, now I have more things to do and my time is shorter and, and you're complaining inside here. Those voices start talking, you know, because also they kind of punish you. Why did you say yes? Why did... But I had to say yes because otherwise maybe they are going to say that I'm going to bad person and that's going to hurt me. See, it's the whole uh, around that you go because of one wound. So it's, this is important for you to work on. The last one is lacking validation, recognition. And for that, maybe you can tell yourself, hmm, look all of the things that I have done so far. Hmm, maybe this didn't come out so well. It's not perfect because they like everything perfect. 
but you can become more flexible and say, but it can be improved. Or I can take my time to improve it and I'm not gonna be mad about it because it's not perfect. And I validate that I, I did that this to have this or did that and then I've done it well. So I need to self recognize all the things that I have done and if they, I don't have to be feeling bad because they are not perfect. So that's a work. And what I'm gonna talk a little bit now is about your inner child. Because the one who is creating the masks is your inner child. And so you have your inner child that says, oh my God, that's too much. I don't wanna be here, come out. So puts the mask, you know, in front of them and say, okay, you, you tell them because you seem big, you know, and people see you like an adult, like, oh, that person is going to respond, right? But really, this still is the inner child who is behind controlling and sabotaging a different possibility. So no matter how much or what things you do, that's not going to change because we need to attend, put attention to this inner child so we can really put in front of the mask the conscious adult within you. But before that, we need to take care of this inner child because the fact that we look big doesn't, um, it's, that's, it's not really like it, we are. We, we seem but sometimes the one that replies for us is our inner child because, oh yeah, I have to look responsible. I have to look, I have to control it all. Oh, I have to become the victim. So you're doing all of these things, right? To protect yourself. But the adult wouldn't reply in any of these ways. So there is some work that we need to do <laughs> to be able to quiet ourselves, to get into this state of peace. And maybe because usually your inner child is the first one that comes. It's been so many wounds and so many things that we have been suffering from and many things that happened to us and to our ancestors. The first thing that usually when a situation comes, it's like, oh, I feel the fear. And that's your inner child. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Right? So before the conscious adult comes out, the mask is already on. Oh, just you, you reply. You do. You take the responsibility. You do something about it because I don't know how to do that. And we can change that. We need to change that in order to grow. Otherwise, we are still children in a, an adult body. Maybe that's why you see people who has these reactions that you don't understand. Maybe the responsible or the rigid says, why is this person crying? Maybe it's just because the one who's crying has the wound of abandonment and doesn't you know, feel that it needs attention and the rigid is not gonna give it the attention, so it cries more. <laughs> So all of these dynamics between the wounds is interesting to see too because there's not going to be a solution between these people. The solution is within yourself. You need to hold this inner child who lies within you and say, I'm here for you. I, I am your adult and I'm going to take care of this. You don't need to put a mask on. And the adult, if you give it a time when something happens and you give some time to all the things that are emotions that come and go and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. Let's see how we can resolve. Because the one that really resolves is the adult. And, and that's what I wanted to share today. So where are you? What's your mask? Um, is that really helping you, the mask? Or is there to just start like, 
taking off all of these masks, masks and being authentic, being yourself, being able to say, mm, I don't want that, thank you, I appreciate it, but that's not what I want. Or being able to say, yes, I think that it is like this, and my opinion counts. Or to say, um, I, I trust in what I'm feeling, or I can say, I recognize what I'm doing. Or it's just giving yourself. This is all about giving uh, that self-love to yourself. And that is the work that we all should do. And if you haven't, I do family and systemic constellations, which is a tool to transcend the memories, not only from our ancestors, but from our childhood as well. We have a lot to take care of, and it's never too late to, to do so. So if you want more information, you can visit my website, mayadaridelsol.com. You can get an appointment there, or you can join our online Family Constellations meetings on Tuesdays at 7.30 through Zoom, where we bring a topic and go from there because there is so much here in our psychology that we need to um, see, to learn. We need to learn how we are made of, <laughs> pretty much, you know, these, these things that are happening. We need to at least understand ourselves. So that's all I wanted to share today. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you like this information, you can please share because maybe it can give someone else a good insight of things that can be happening to them or to yourself as well. To yourself as well. Uh, yourself as well. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay, so that's what I wanted to share today. I'll see you next time around. Have a good day.